Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your monthly reading for October 2021. I hope you guys are doing really well. I am going to take just a quick second to remind everyone that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with everyone. If you find it's not resonating with you, I do encourage you to check your other signs and placements and see if those readings may resonate with you a little better. If you'd like a personal reading, the directions are in the box beneath this video. Please keep in mind that timelines vary um, in a general reading. So let's get started, Taurus. Spirit, what would you like Taurus to be aware of for the month of October, please? Support issue for Taurus for the month of October. Taurus, we have the Page of Wands. Okay, so you may be hoping for some kind of communication, some kind of uh, good news, or you may be wanting to communicate something to someone. What is directly affecting this? The Page of Cups. Okay. All right. This would be about love. So, could be possibly an offer of love, hoping for an offer of love, looking for an offer of love. Um, what has happened in the past that directly affects this? What has happened in the past that directly affects this? We have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So there's been a loss in the past. Um, there's possibly been something that has affected your self-esteem as well in the past. Could be um, that there's been a loss of finances as well. Um, why is all this happening, Spirit? Why is all this happening? Why is all this happening? The Knight of Swords. Somebody spoke some truth. Somebody came rushing in with some kind of a truth. So that's why all this is happening. So it's a lot of a lot about communication here. Um, what is on your mind, Taurus? What's on your mind? The Knight of Pentacles reverse. You're feeling stuck. You're feeling like things are not moving forward. What's going to happen in October that Taurus doesn't see coming? What's happening in October that Taurus doesn't see coming? Lot of cards. Let's um, let's try that again. What's happening in October that Taurus does not see coming? We have the Four of Wands and we have the Emperor in reverse. So there's something with regard to a marriage or a long-term commitment. And the Emperor in reverse indicates somebody who is very controlling within that um, commitment or that long-term um, connection. Either somebody that's being very controlling or it could be somebody is not taking control of um, something within this. Not taking control um, with regard to it possibly. But it is centered around um, a long-term commitment or possibly marriage. Let's see how you're showing up in this um, reading, Taurus. Let's see how Taurus is showing up 
Jesus. Sometimes the emperor in reverse can indicate somebody who is a little bit narcissistic. Um, somebody kind of self-centered. What's Taurus showing up? Show me their energy, please. Two of Wands, you're at a crossroads. You're at a crossroads. You're trying to make a decision about which direction you want to go. Um, let's look at the energy that is coming towards you. Show me the energy approaching Taurus. Show me the energy approaching Taurus. You have the King of Swords in the reverse and the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, an air sign. Um, but this is an angry energy, Taurus. This is an energy of somebody who, um, you know, is angry Um cold in their energy and kind of cutting with their words. Um, this is somebody who, you know, is, is possibly breadcrumbing with regard to their, their time and their effort. Um, it's not a very nice energy to be honest with you. Um, what is spirit's advice? What is spirit's advice? Five of Cups in reverse. Spirit is saying that there are better days coming. That, you know, there, the, there are better days. There, the, the days of sadness will pass. Yeah. Um, let's see the, let's see um, the outcome at the end of October. What is the outcome? being asked to let go of um, regrets and um, old memories in order to have um, those better days. What is the um, outcome, Spirit, at the end of October? What is the outcome for Taurus? Promise of better days. It's just too many cards. I feel almost an erratic energy, but it, it feels like it's around you, Taurus. It doesn't feel like it's your energy. It feels like there's an erratic energy that is surrounding you. What's the outcome for Taurus? We have the Empress in reverse. And we have the Ten of Cups. So, yeah, and that's exactly what your outcome is, too. So the Empress in reverse, um, the Empress is Libra or Taurus energy. In the reverse, it shows um, a situation that is um, not growing, not, not abundant, not producing, not happy. 
Um, it's an energy that is, is the opposite of abundant. And moving from that energy into an energy of total fulfillment. So just like Spirit is saying, releasing the, the old energy so that you can have um, the better days. You have better days coming, but there's a, a release that needs to happen. And I think that that's going to occur for you in October. Um, I, I see you letting go of something in order that that's not really good energy. It's a narcissistic energy here that you may have been involved in for quite some time. Um, I feel like um, you're searching for what to do here. You're searching. You're, you're trying to, um, you may even be asking spirit for guidance, but you're searching for an answer on, on what to do. Um, bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. So this indicates to me that's underlying energy that this is a situation that you have just not been able to walk away from. You are still emotionally involved in this situation, if not physically involved. For some reason, you've not been able to disconnect or um, walk away from this situation. And that's the underlying energy. You're still holding on to this situation. So let's clarify. Why is the Page of Wands here? Why is the Page of Wands here for Taurus? Okay, so we have the Page of Pentacles reversed. And we have the Six of Coins. Okay, so you're searching for word. You're trying to communicate with somebody. And what you're, what you're you know, trying to discover, trying to communicate about is why things are not progressing, why things are not moving up. There's also the idea here of, you know, what is this person doing with their time, with their resources, with their energy? You know, where are they spending their their resources, their time, their money, their energy? Um, and is that why this is not leveling up? Is that why this is not becoming um, a, a better, a more abundant relationship? So you're wanting communication. You're searching for answers is what it amounts to. Um, why is the Page of Cups here? Why is the Page of Cups here? Right. We have the Eight of Swords and we have the Four of Coins in the reverse. Yeah, you're with regard to love, you have love for this person. And so with regard to love, it, it's like you feel you feel a lot of anxiety about this. Um, you don't know whether to love this person or let them go. And you feel trapped. You feel a lot of anxiety. Um, there's a sense here of not knowing which direction to go. Um, and, and you think about it a lot. It, it, it consumes a lot of your mental energy. So do I, do I, you know, give my love to this person? Do I offer my love to this person? Or do I just let them go? I don't know. What do I do? It, it consumes a lot of your mental space. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here in reverse? Why is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, you have the Nine of Pentacles twice. It's clarifying the Nine of Pentacles. Um, we also have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you've been very hurt by um, this connection, Taurus. Um, I do feel as if you have really pulled back. I feel like you've been hurt in this connection. You've, um, there's been a, it's damaged your, how you see yourself sometimes. You feel, you felt a, a keen sense of loss. Um, and I feel like, um, I feel as if you've kind of closed your heart a little bit because of this connection. This, this has been, there's been a sense of loss here. Um, 
and you may have lost a little piece of yourself um, at times in relation to this connection. Um, you definitely have kind of built a wall around yourself. I can see that. Now, this is all happening because of the Knight of Swords. What is the Knight of Swords? Why is that here? All right, so we have the Nine of Rods reversed, and we have the Moon reversed. So somebody spoke the truth about a secret. It was a secret, something that was being um, kept hidden, something that was hidden, some kind of a secret, and then the truth came out. Somebody spoke the truth, and it, it most likely came out sharply. It was blurted out, and it caused um, it caused someone to give up, to give up on it, it and it could that could have been the secret too it could have been that somebody has given up on this connection um you know they they've reached a point where they no longer want to work on the connection that could have been what was blurted out um either that or some kind of secret was blurted out some some truth was told something that had been hidden and it caused you to want to give up on the connection um, why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Because you're feeling stuck. That's in your in your mind, you're feeling stuck. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Alright, we have the Queen of Swords and we have the world in reverse. Um, air sign energy again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, yeah, you're feeling stuck. I feel like, um, you know, you want to, you're willing to talk with this person. You're willing to listen to what they have to say. Um, you may come across as being very stern, but the truth of it is, Taurus, you're not closing out this cycle. Um, I see it here with the Eight of Cups reversed. I see it with the world reversed. You know, you're stuck. You don't, you don't feel like you're able to close this cycle out for some reason. Um, you're still holding on to this person for some reason. Um, let's see um, what's coming up. Okay, we have we have this emperor in reverse, and we have the four of wands. Okay, so let's see what we have. All right, so we have the sun. We have the seven of coins. There's that king of swords again. We have the king of swords. We have the two of swords. And we have the ten of of swords reversed okay so this is someone that you are in a connection with I feel like this person um, they are a bit controlling it's either their way or the highway um, I do feel like this person might have some narcissistic qualities to them um, they there is a, a sense here that um, you're beginning to realize this. You're beginning to have a realization of the dynamics of this connection and the way this person operates. I think you are very patient with this person. I think you're trying to plant seeds. Um, but this person, they're in the position here of making a decision. And there is a delay in, in making that decision. Um, I also think that this person tends to try to take a seat of superiority somehow. It's as if they try to place themselves in a seat of being superior. Now, this person is an equal mate to you. They are a good mate to you. Um, you do see them as an equal. They see you as an equal. 
Um, but at times they will try to place themselves as being superior in some way. Um, there is a decision that they need to make and they are delaying that decision. Um, there's, they're delaying the decision because they are trying to delay a sense of, um, a sense of, uh, betrayal. They're, they know that, they know that, uh, they're trying not to betray you. It, it's an odd energy. Um, it's a very odd energy. It's as if one day they are investing in the connection and the next day they're deciding whether or not they're going to betray you. Um, and they are the judge and jury to decide this um, at any given point. So this person, they lack clarity into their own cycles and their own behaviors. But Taurus, I think you're beginning to see them very clearly. I think you are beginning to see them very clearly. Um, and, uh, you know, that's, um, I don't know, I don't know that you're going to like what you see when you, as you're seeing them clearly. You now are showing up at a crossroads having a decision to make. So let's see, um, let's look at your energy there. Why is the two of wands here? Why is the two of wands here? Okay, so we have, again, the Empress in reverse. It's in your outcome as well. Um, we have the Hierophant, card of Taurus. And we have the Four of Cups. Okay, so, yeah, you're looking at this situation and I feel like you are, you're at that crossroads. You're making a decision about what it is that you want, Taurus. Um, you feel like within this commitment, and it is a commitment, we see that, that there's no growth. There's no growth in this commitment because you feel taken for granted. You feel as if this is, this is a missed opportunity because you're not, you're being discounted. You're not being um, treated with respect, treated with honor. And so this is a situation where you're not growing. So you may be at a crossroads about whether or not to stay or go. Um, the energy coming towards you, like I said, I don't really care for this energy. Let's, let's clarify it. So we have the Ten of Cups reversed. We have the Eight of Cups reversed. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so like I said, this is an energy of someone who is rather angry and cutting. Um, somebody who is not very generous with their time and their energy. And I think we saw that over here as well. Um, trying to think where we saw that. Um, but they're not very generous with their time or their energy. Um, this is somebody who is not walking away from the connection. They're still here. They're still engaged in the connection, but in an angry, breadcrumbing kind of way. Um, and I know you're wondering what it is they're doing with their time and their resources. Um, and it's because they're breadcrumbing you. Um, it's going to lead, this person is not emotionally happy. That's why they're angry. They're not emotionally happy. They are thinking of ending the connection, but they're not actually walking away. Um, and the reason that they're breadcrumbing you is because there is a consideration that they have of a new start elsewhere. Either that or they, if they, it's not that, they are um, so deeply focused on their money that they are a workaholic and they may just be focused completely on their money. So it's, it's one of the two. 
um, but they're still physically in the connection, but not emotionally or even, you know, time-wise. They're, they're not available, um, which is leaving you feeling as if this is a missed opportunity. Um, let's see, Spirit's Advice, it's the Five of Cups reversed. There's an indication for you to release um, these memories from the past so that you can embrace the Two of Cups, the love that's, you know, coming in. So, let's see, we have the Lovers in Reverse. We have the Nine of Swords reversed, and we have the Two of Wands reversed. So the Lovers in Reverse is, um, you know, that's the connection. That's it's a soulmate connection, um, but it's an ending. It's an ending of this of a soulmate connection, um, which then releases the anxiety. It, it relieves these sleepless nights. It lets go of you know, all this anxiety and, you know, difficulties that you're experiencing emotionally. Um, the two of wands in the reverse is having made a choice. So making a choice to end this, making a choice also to end the anxiety you're experiencing. Um, but in order to do that, you have to let go of the past. You have to release these um, things from the past to embrace, you know, what what can be, what is alive and, and growing. And you may say, well, I don't see anything that's alive and growing, but that's because you haven't yet released um, this, this thing from the past. So let's look at your outcome. Because the way it looks, Taurus, is that you have to make that release first before it will allow this new thing to come in. All right, yep, there's that Five of Cups again. Five of Cups reversed, the Hermit in reverse, and the Death card in reverse. So I feel like there has been a, um, Alien, alienment, um, the two of you have pulled apart. I think that there is going to be communication. Um, I also feel like um, there, you are going to communicate to this person that you do want to let go of the situation that is not growing, that is not producing um, the happiness that you're looking for. Um, I feel like you have pulled away for quite some time. Um, and it feels to me like it's, you may even be in the presence of this person, but not really opening up, talking to them. It's as if the two of you are in the same space, but not really talking, not really communicating. I think you're going to do something about that. I think there is going to be communication. It's deep in your reading here. Um, it, you started out with communication. You're ending with communication. And I think that you have found some answers and you're going to be, you know, letting this person know that you you are feeling a need to let go of this situation that's not growing so that you can find a situation that is emotionally fulfilling. At the end of the day though, I still see the death card in, re in reverse, which tells me that, um, you know, it, it's not over. There's a, still a sense here that this cycle is not ending. It's, um, this person is not walking away, and I don't feel like you're letting this go either. Both of you are still holding on to this connection for some reason. Bottom of the deck, we do have the Four of Swords in the reverse, which indicates there is going to be communication. Um, and there's also going to be some healing taking place. Um, this looks like a cycle. And I think you're gaining more information, Taurus, about the wherefores and whys, how this person operates and works. 
but unfortunately, you know, it takes more than just gaining the insight. You have to actually take action on it. Let's go ahead and pull an oracle card to round out your reading. Spirit, we're pulling for Taurus. Pulling for Taurus. All right, Taurus, so you have White Rose of Hope. Okay, let's see what that is. It's a very pretty card. I'm going to read it directly from the book. Let's see. Make sure you can see that. There you go. It's Hope, Beacon, Solution, and Beginnings. We see a woman dressed in a blue gown standing somewhere in a lonely landscape. Darkness surrounds her, but a shining white rose glows like a beacon and illuminates the night. Maybe this woman is lost. Maybe she is uncertain about her feelings. Yet thanks to the light of the flower, she can find her way. White roses symbolize hope, new beginnings, admiration, and young love. There are exciting times ahead. Okay. And we do see that with this Five of Cups in reverse. So, you know, letting go of the old in order to embrace the new. There are new um, beginnings ahead. There is hope ahead. So, Taurus, um, you know, I would embrace that beacon of hope, that white rose. All right. I hope this has been helpful for you, Taurus. Um, if you would like and share the video, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, also, drop me a comment. I read all your comments. And until I see you in the weeklies, namaste.